In the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, Saint Joseph, and Saint Teresa, pray for us. We know that God can renew things 10, 15, 20 million times more than what we think He can. So that's the problem. It's just our narrow mindedness that thinks God can't restore things. But in the end times, or in the era of peace, if you should enter it, God will renew your body and soul so much you and your spouse that you will even be able to produce more children even if you're very old and these things seem impossible but they're not impossible to god so remember god is going to uh for humble and contrite heart he won't all only forgive us he will restore things and this is so comforting for people who maybe been uh led astray forced on birth control abortions all these horrible things that there is there's hope. There's definitely hope. Not only that, you'll see your children again in heaven. Um, but if you get there, if you repent and do all the, the program, our Lord asks you to do the Ten Commandments and all that. But it's just so wonderful, isn't it? Let's focus on the wonder of the Lord. As I'm in my 40s, I do get a little stiff in the morning. I think everybody does. Even my 20s, I, th I think I was. I think that's just how it works. You have to think about the, not really clinging to our instrument or kind of like floating around it. And not just, you know, not get so into impressing people. I know it's so hard or even horrible impressing ourselves. Oh, I did so many, uh, I was sounded so much better today than yesterday. I'm doing great. I mean, that is just... A recipe for disaster but it's hard not to compare and contrast especially if you've gone through the state school programs where that's all they care about you know too hard and it really doesn't do well for the rest of the practice session you know? and you have the years of being brainwashed about the violin you have to project all this tone quality and all this and that you know just practice your instrument and give glory to God you know control when you're playing. I mean, how can you not? Just like anything, doing anything like, do you think a painter is just going to not have quality control he sees? So, that, yeah, there has to be some quality control. But we don't have to get all you know, uh, <laughs> self-destructive about it, I, I suppose.
St. Joseph for help. He will totally help you. And interesting is my left hand is the one that feels more, uh, what's the word? Uh, stiff. This morning when I woke up, it was my right hand that felt stiff. And I thought, well, it'll be hard to play with that this morning. And now the ties have turned, my friends. And so never, at the violin, you can't really expect anything from day to day. A lot of times we just have to give up control. At the same time, we have to take control. So it's kind of like, you know, our Catholic faith. We give a lot to trust in the Lord, knowing everything will be okay if we obey the Ten Commandments. But we take action. We don't just sit around watching television uh, or just, you know, sitting in front of Blessed Sacrament, as beautiful as that is. Our faith is an active faith, and we have mouths, ears, eyes for a reason. We have to use that right now. Our Lord has shown us so many times, and he's, I'm sure he's put into your heart uh, during the during the sacraments of things that need to be exposed, uh, you know, chaos that needs to be corrected through your actions. And I know it's embarrassing. The, the first thing that comes to mind, well, I'll lose all my friends. Well, if that's how you want to roll, then, you know, you're going to spend maybe a long time in purgatory, even worse. Because we're not here for friends. We're here to do the will of God. Just remember that. And God promises so much. We just don't see it. He promised you he'll give you a million friends. If you do as well, he'll give you the right friends, not the friends you want. You know, it's just like God knows what's best for us. And who cares if he doesn't give you any friends? You know, why do you need friends? We, we put too much emphasis on it. We don't truly know what a friend is. A friend is our Lord. That's the friend. someone bedridden all across half the way across the world I don't even see this person but maybe they enjoy the violin maybe it's helping them through a rough time whatever you know I don't get anything in return maybe I never even know this person exists or meet this person but it's that kind of friendship that our Lord that our Lord is calling us it's that kind of charity that's been forgotten remember a friend asks nothing in return a friend does think they said, that's what the hypocrites do. The hypocrites want things in return. They have their friends around them that can give back. It says, when you call a feast, call the lame, the blind, and those who that cannot give to you, and you will be blessed.
I was going for. You say sometimes your instrument needs to, you have to play it more so your instrument learns how to play it. There may be something to that too, but also just how I approached it. Where I'm putting my string, how much tension. It's kind of hard sometimes to put into words.